The first thing to understand is that there is no specific VA back pay effective date. Instead, the date when your veterans' benefits will begin being paid will depend on a number of factors, including the date on which your VA claim was filed and the date on which your disability was granted. It comes down to those two dates, not necessarily the date of injury. The date your injury occurred in service is not necessarily going to be your effective date. The VA doesn't recognize every date you're injured while on active duty as an effective date. This kind of makes sense, right? Not every injury you encountered is considered a lifelong chronic condition. In most cases, you need to be the one to establish an effective date because your condition is considered chronic and something you're going to have to deal with for the rest of your life. That versus an acute disability that only lasts for a couple months, like a twisted ankle or shin splits or something like that. Now, even a twisted ankle or shin splits can be considered chronic conditions, but most of the time they're acute and they heal within a few months. That's what happened to me. Let me know in the comments if you have shin splints or a ankle sprain and, and you were healed. And then I guess also let me know if they're chronic and they've been bothering you for the last 30 years. If you want to talk more about acute versus chronic disabilities and how the VA rates them, then we could talk about your situation in my boot camp. In my boot camp, I demystify the VA claims process and you can sign up at combatcraig.com. All boot camp members have access to me via Zoom. I do it twice a month. And I give you guys an email address so we can talk. The easiest way for you to establish a VA back pay effective date is by submitting your intent to file a VA claim. This can be done online, or if you want to be old school, you can uh, mail in your paper application to your nearest VA regional office. If you file an intent to file, the effective date of your claim will be the date the VA received your notice of intent to file. You have one year to develop your claim and gather all the medical evidence you're going to need to support your claim and prove your claim and win your VA claim. This is the exact strategy I deployed in my last VA claim so I could get as much uh, back pay as possible. In my case, that was about $10,000. Here's kind of how that worked. And, you know, that's a pretty good chunk of change. I submitted my intent to file. Uh, about four or five months later, I got everything together and then I actually filed my claim. So my effective date wasn't the date I filed my claim. My effective date was the date I filed my intent to file. Let's say you submit your intent to file a VA claim on May 15th, 2022. Right around the corner here. I'm not looking at my watch. Uh, but it takes you until December 15th, 2022 to actually file your claim. Your VA back pay effective date will be May 15th, 2022, because you submitted your intent to file a VA claim way before you actually filed your VA claim. This is called preserving and establishing an effective date. Hey, if you get value out of the content that I produce, please consider subscribing to my channel so you're notified when I upload a new video. You might even want to give it a like. But if you don't like this video, or you don't like me, and you definitely don't like my content, make sure you hit the dislike button twice. VA back pay effective dates can get real complicated real fast, and you might decide to challenge the VA for an earlier effective date. This happens a lot. They make a lot of mistakes. If this is the boat you're in, I would consider lawyering up and you might want to check out Hill and Ponton at hillandponton.com to see if they can help you with an early effective date. So when might my VA back pay effective date be different than my intent to file or if I don't do an intent to file when I actually file my claim? Here's a couple differences. If you've had a recent separation from service, this is one case where it'll be different. If VA receives your benefit application within one year, of your separation from service and later grants your claim, your effective date is the day you left service. This would be considered the one year presumptive period. And that moves us on to example number two here. 
Presumptive conditions. If VA presumes service connection for your medical condition and received your application within a year of you leaving the service, your effective date is when you became disabled or when VA receives your application, whichever one is later. If VA receives your claim after one year following your release from active duty, your effective date is when VA receives your application, which could be many years later especially in the case of these new presumptive conditions for Vietnam veterans. They've been rolling them out over the past couple of years. So maybe one of your Agent Orange conditions didn't start bothering you until you know 20 years ago. So you waited a while to file your claim. In this case, your effective date will be the date you filed your first claim for that presumptive condition.